Ethernet is the most common type of network in use today. And when transferring data from a source to multiple destinations, the data will reach those multiple destinations at varying times. This is due in part to complex buffering and logic that happens inside of an Ethernet switch. There are many use cases in networking where the data must be used or presented in unison by multiple nodes across the network. One example is audio and video data. If data reaches their multiple destinations at different times, how did the multiple nodes on a network coordinate their activities in time? In automotive networking, it's often the case where a central processing unit needs to act on data in a time-coordinated manner from multiple sensors throughout the vehicle. In both these examples, GPTP, or Generalized Precision Time Protocol, can be used to synchronize the clocks of all the nodes throughout a network. One node is selected as a Grand Master. That node's clock will be used and all other nodes on the network will synchronize to that clock. The way this is accomplished is by measuring the link delay or the time it takes to transmit data from one node to another of all the links on the network and also measuring the residence time of special messages. The residence time is defined as the time it takes a message to go in the ingress port of a switch to being transmitted out the various egress ports on the same switch. And then the various link delays and residence times across the network are added up so that each node on the network can measure the exact amount of time it takes for a message to be transmitted by the Grand Master to the receiving node. And the Grand Master's clock is also transmitted in the same message. And with this information, each node can accurately synchronize its clock to the Grand Master within 500 nanoseconds if seven switches are used or across seven hops. Specialized GPTP messages are transmitted from the Grand Master to all connected switches and finally arriving at all endpoints. These specialized messages are all transmitted on a very specific ether type designed for GPTP and that is 88F7 hex. The different message types are shown in this table. Link delays and residence times are calculated uniquely for every link and every switch on the network. And when each endpoint receives its GPTP message with this information, it can accurately calculate the time or the clock value of the Grand Master when the data is received. And each endpoint node can use this Grand Master clock value to coordinate activities with all other nodes on the network in a time synchronized manner. A unique link delay is calculated continuously between every two nodes or between a node and the port on a switch that it's connected to using at least two specialized messages, p-delay request and a p-delay response. Time and information is transmitted in these messages so that at the end the requester node or master node has enough information to accurately calculate the link delay between itself and the port or node that it's connected to. Another specialized message called a sync message is transmitted by the clock master so that a bridge or a switch can calculate the time it takes a sync message to go from the ingress port to the varying egress ports on the switch. This is called the residence time. Another message called the follow-up message is also transmitted by the clock master. This message contains a correction field. The switches involved in the network add the residence time that they've calculated to this correction field and send this out their egress ports to the endpoints on the network. Also contained in the follow-up message is the Grand Master's clock value. And each endpoint can use this value plus the correction field to know accurately the exact value of the Grand Master clock when the message is received by the endpoint. Using the p-delay request message, a node or port on a switch can calculate its neighbor rate ratio that is the ratio of its clock tick rate or how fast it increments to the rate of the master that it is connected to. The neighbor rate ratio can be used to to enable the slave clock to be ticked or incremented at an accurate rate synchronized to the master. For safety critical applications in networking there's a newer standard 802.1 AS Rev. This allows multiple grandmasters on the network at the same time, one being active and one in backup in case one grandmaster goes away. As mentioned previously, the link delays and residence times are continually being calculated by all switches and participants on the network. This data 
is summed together in another specialized message called a follow-up message so that each receiving endpoint node has all the information it needs to know the exact value of the Grandmaster clock when the message is received. Hopefully you found this video useful. This is a very brief summary of GPTP. Thank you.